Hey folks, I'm Mark, and welcome to our first Pocket Size DT preview. Explore space, trade with rivals, and bring prestige to your faction. The Moonrakers are on the brink. They have thrown off the oppressive yoke of the Utopian Alliance, but they are in a constant struggle to stay independent and find their identity. Alliances are formed and factions arise as the Moonrakers agree to turn their focus outward instead of squabbling over what little they have. Captains push out into the unknown corners of the system in an attempt to gain resources, influence, and power. The tenuous alliances will only last so long and soon someone must emerge to lead or they will all fall. Brought to you by the fine folks at Ivy Studio, Brink is a two to five player worker placement, trading and hidden voting game that brings the world of Moonrakers to a new genre. It combines the strategy and planning of a worker placement game with the negotiation and the above the table play found in Moonrakers and Fractured Sky. Each turn, you will place one of your three different sized ships or workers onto a grid of hexes. Each hex will gain you resources and actions, but even more importantly, it will give you power within a faction based on the color of the hex. And at the end of each round, all players will vote on which faction will score points, which is then multiplied by the amount of power each player has in that faction color on the board. You will upgrade your ships, hire ambassadors, explore new systems, and spend influence to complete faction objectives, granting you new abilities. Each game, the map will reveal in a totally new way as regions are explored, presenting new strategies as well as strengths and weaknesses to existing strategies. The player with the most prestige points at the end of three rounds wins. All right, folks, just a reminder once again, this has been a Dice Tower paid preview, and everything you've seen here has been in prototype form, so keep a close eye on the campaign for any changes that still may occur. Now, with that said, I did get a chance to play this one a couple times, once at Origins and here again with my family, and it has a lot of really interesting choices as you decide how you want to explore the galaxy, how you want to negotiate with others to get the right resources for you, and then also occupy space to get those resources and have that sense of power and accomplishment throughout the game. They did a really good job allowing you to actually forge your own way through the game. But folks, ultimately, if this looks like something of interest to you, I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. So I think that's it for me, and until next time, we'll see you at the table. Everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you like this review or whatever you just watched, wasn't it amazing? Uh, check out our channel, Dice Tower. Uh, we have all kinds of things. We review games, we do top tens, we play games live. It's all about board games, but especially the people who play them. Check out Dice Tower YouTube channel.